Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage. Thanks for joining me here today. I'm going to talk about plants that I have that are in my house and very simple ways that you can look after them and how to care for them. This is for complete beginners because I am definitely not an expert. I'm just sharing what I have known, what I've learned from trial and error over the years and I really hope that you will find some benefit in it. So let's get right into the video. First thing is, if you are starting with looking after plants, just start with one. And then as you get used to starting with that one, you can then get more familiar and add to your collection. There are certain plants that are very easy to look after. And one of them is a peace lily. It will kind of let you know what it needs. <laughs> so it's a definitely a great one to start with. And then just start with that, get to know plants, get to know if it needs a bit of water, a little bit less or more light and have fun with it and then start to build your collection. Plants that are easy to look after, the ones I have, a money plant. This here was taken from another clipping. It's very easy to look after. Also this butterfly plant here, again is another one that's quite easy. It was nearly completely dead and it just came back to life. This is an aloe vera plant, probably the best plant that you can have in the kitchen because it's medicinal. So anytime you get a little burn like I got here, just clip a bit off one of the thick older shoots and pop the little jelly bit onto your burn. Does absolute wonders. And then you'll see that after a week or so, it will just seal itself up. So there's absolutely no bother. And then if you've any leftover gel, pop it onto your face. Keep it in the fridge and it will stay for a few days and just use it because it's really great also on your skin. So terracotta pots, if you're a beginner, I think are the best pots to use and the ones that come with a little bottom tray because you can allow the water to drain right through and just a little bit can settle there. Not too much, but just a tiny bit is fine once you've kind of soaked it through. And the terracots just look nice and rustic. They do their own thing. They give a lovely texture. And they also seem to regulate the heat as well of the soil quite nicely, so. And they're very cheap. Plants do need watering, but too much watering can actually drown the plant. So once a week, go around to all your plants, pop your finger in about half an inch down, and if it feels dry, then it needs a good soaking. What you want to do with the soaking is you want to soak it right through so it goes all the way through all the soil right out the bottom. You'll know if you've given your plant also too much water because when you pour the water on top it literally will just sit there and it will take forever to drain through. When I pour water into the plant, pour it in nice and slowly. You don't want to overload the plant. Little and then obviously you can keep adding more. If you find a plant that has kind of yellowing of the leaves. That can mean sometimes that you've overwatered. It also can mean sometimes underwatered and also that it may not be getting enough light. So it's very much just using your intuition and switching things about. So these are kind of like water tubes. I got these in a garden shop, but you can use a glass beer bottle if you don't have one of these. You're gonna fill this with water and this is a way of just giving your plant some water if you're going away. And we're just gonna pop it in. Just be careful of any roots so don't have it too close. And just let it sit there. And what it will do is it will take its water out when it wants it. Another thing you can do with plants is positioning. So now plants do need light, but they don't necessarily need direct sunlight. You have to kind of get a vibe for it and then move it to another place. Plants that have much darker leaves actually need less sunlight than the lighter green ones. Also, you need to turn the plants so that obviously all of the plant is evenly getting light. Clippings is a really nice way of making another plant from a plant. It's so low waste and all you need to do is take a clipping off, pop it into a jar of water and leave it as long as it takes for loads of roots to come down. When it's nice and strong, then pop it into a little pot of soil. Let it get used to that for a while. And when it starts to grow a bit too big, transfer it into a bigger pot.
Here is a plant that I took from work. It was dead and all it's taken is about five days and you can really see that it's kind of bouncing back to life. So remember that no matter what, everything can be resurrected. But if you have a plant that you're getting from somebody where it's kind of died, just don't smother it with water. Just start a little bit of water and then the next day check in a little bit more. You just don't want to like kind of overload it. This plant is a prayer plant. Again, this is really easy to look after. And this was left for about two years with very rarely somebody watering it. And it was absolutely tiny, looked completely dead, and yet all it needed was a few months to bounce back and just start spreading. So never give up on a plant, there is always hope. And this plant has been in our family for about 30 years. When you find a plant and it has little brown edges, that can mean that you haven't actually watered the plant deeply enough. So it means you've just kind of put a little bit of water on top, but it hasn't come right through, like drained right through. So if that happens, you just need to know that you need to slightly tweak your watering, pour it on, let it drain through, and then happy days. There you have it. That's all the different plants and tips and ideas I have for how to look after them. Now in relation to any say green flies or insects crawling, I've had no experience of that. I have heard that people use a little bit of sooty water and just spray it on them. But with anything like those, I would be bringing it straight away out of the house and I would be taking off maybe a leaf if they were all on a particular leaf. If there's any other questions or anything I haven't answered, please ask me down below and let me know how you get on with plants. It's a really nice experience to have something living in your home. So without further ado, say hi on Instagram and subscribe if you want to join me next week. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you then. Bye.